deglutition deglutition swallowing the process that allows for a substance bolus to pass from the mouth to the pharynx and into the esophagus while shutting the epiglottis it is an important part of eating and drinking if the process fails and the material goes through the trachea then choking or pulmonary aspiration can occur the automatic temporary closing of the epiglottis is controlled by the swallowing reflex phases 1 oral phase the actions to form the bolus of food ready to be swallowed 2 pharyngeal phase all passages e.g. nasopharynx larynx then the pharynx are occluded when it begins other activities such as chewing breathing coughing and vomiting are concomitantly inhibited 3 esophageal phase the bolus has been sending to the stomach by esophageal peristalsis organisms return to their relaxed positions oral phase 1 moistening moistened by saliva from the salivary glands 2 mastication mechanically broken down by the teeth 3 trough formation forcing the bolus against the hard palate and sending it to the back of the tongue 4 movement of the bolus posteriorly propelled posteriorly into the pharynx pharyngeal phase 1 closure of the nasopharynx the soft palate is tensed by tensor palatini and then elevated by levator palatini to close the nasopharynx there is also the simultaneous approximation of the walls of the pharynx to the posterior free border of the soft palate too the pharynx prepares to receive the bolus the pharynx is pulled upwards and forwards by the suprahyoid and longitudinal pharyngeal muscles to receive the bolus the palatopharyngeal folds on each side of the pharynx are brought close together through the superior constrictor muscles so that only a small bolus can pass 3 opening of the auditory tube closure of the nasopharynx and elevation of the pharynx opens the auditory tube it equalizes the pressure between the nasopharynx and the middle ear this does not contribute to swallowing 4 closure of the oropharynx the oropharynx is kept closed by palatoglossus the intrinsic muscles of tongue and styloglossus 5 laryngeal closure the laryngopharyngeal protective mechanism to prevent aspiration during swallowing by the adduction or closure of the true vocal folds swallowing apnea occurs 6. Hyoid elevation. The hyoid is elevated by digastric and stylohyoid, lifting the pharynx and larynx up even further. 7. Bolus transits pharynx. The bolus moves down towards the esophagus by pharyngeal peristalsis. Esophageal phase 1. Esophageal peristalsis. The bolus enters the esophagus and is propelled downwards first by striated muscle then by the smooth muscle the upper esophageal sphincter relaxes to let the bolus pass after which various striated constrictor muscles of the pharynx as well as peristalsis and relaxation of the lower esophageal sphincter sequentially push the bolus through the esophagus into the stomach Two. relaxation phase the larynx and pharynx move down with the hyoid mostly by elastic recoil then the larynx and pharynx move down from the hyoid to their relaxed positions by elastic recoil cf dysphagia 